I can get up on the sofa, but I'm really clumsy. I might fall off the sofa. Somebody hold on to it. Yeah, okay. Okay, y'all have to excuse me. I just pulled a 16 hour shift at a nursing home. So I understand the 99% thing. Uh, a couple things that I do want to uh, talk about. First of all, I've been doing a lot of um, exciting stuff. Um, for one, my, my newest adventure is um, organizing high school and um, college kids under an organization by the name of Vote Mob. Um, one of the things that uh, Vote Mob is really, really um, focused on and um, is student debt, um, which is uh, which is one of the most craziest, outrageous things. And the other thing that we really focus on is that crazy asshole Todd Akins. Um For anyone who says that you know uh, legitimate rape is justifiable, is crazy. Um, and then uh, for him to t want to uh, take away. Um, services that really um, affect veteran, veterans and um, people with disabilities and people with um, uh, who, who basically just can't work and rely on social services issues. He wants to do away with that. So the hell with him. Uh, but there's all kinds of other things that I do as well. Um, I am the founder and the creator of an organization called Young Justice. Um, we spell it a little differently. We spell it J-U-S-T-U-S. Uh, which stands for joining United States together, united and strong. And uh, one of the things that Young Justice focus on is uh, making sure that the age demographics of 18 uh, to 40 is registered to vote, uh, making sure that they understand the issues that are going on uh, within our city. Uh, one of our biggest accomplishments um, that we just had over the summer is um, Kansas City wanted to dump another 1.8 million dollars into the Lion Power District. So um, we were able to um, to get a petition um, generated uh, to, uh, to get that blocked. So uh, we, we won that. Uh, so we kind of feel like if, if there are um, neighborhoods that are filled with vacant houses and um, we have people out here without no jobs and our homeless rate is increasing by the day, why in the hell y'all want to dump another millions into um, something that um, half of us is not even welcome down there anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, um, so hell with Light Power District too. Uh, so, but um, my main thing that I'm really passionate about right now is, uh, is Vote Mob. Uh, because um, those college students and high school students are the next generation to lead this country. And if we're not uh, embracing what they have um, with their student debt, and if we're not um, organizing them in a and um, actually, I'm challenging some of my um, some hardcore organizers. Grab one of them college students, grab a high school student, put them under your wing, organize them, get them involved in, in what you're doing, get them to understand the organizing language, get them understanding the terminology of, of, of voting, and um, get them to really understand the importance of, of, of what's going on in our country. Uh, there is all kind of issues and all kind of things that needs to be changed um, right along here in our city. I remember when I first met Brianna, raise your hand, Brianna. Hi. Um, I was at a um, I was at a jobs of justice meeting, and um, I was they asked, you know, we was talking about School of the Year's award, and I said um, Gwendolyn Grant, and they was like, well, why Gwendolyn Grant? And I said, well, she is for them to displace hundreds of people who live in the inner city from the 26th in Brooklyn all the way over to 28th in Brooklyn, 30th in Brooklyn. And some of those people been in that area when they play baseball over there, when the Black Negro um, League was, you know, doing things over there. Um, but they wanted to, um, well, they did. They're going to tear down all those houses and put in a, um, a police lab. And so now we have more people who are displaced um, in our community. Uh, so it's issues like that. Um, the only way we're going to change this state, we gotta change our cities first. Um, I do know that um, folks on the other side of the state, you know, in St. Louis, are nowhere near dealing with some of the issues that we're dealing with here. Uh, another thing that we need to, you know, pay attention to is, is our police department. Um, a lot of people don't know our police department is ran by the state which needs to be controlled by the people who pay the taxes here in our city, which are the people in the city. 
Um, and then um, one thing that I am um, extremely afraid of is um, that Kansas City is honestly and truly talking about adopting <coughs> some of um, the immigration laws that Arizona is adopting. So we need to really start paying attention to that. Um, anytime you get pulled in Arizona, anytime you get pulled over by the police, they don't have to give no real reason on why they want to see if you are legal, if you're a legal resident of this country. Um, but one thing we do have to remember and realize, it was the immigrants who built this country. Um, from our railroads to our buildings, um, even to the White House. So uh, we need to you know, keep that in, in mind as well. Um, but I'm going to end this with one of my favorite sayings, power to the motherfucking people. Yeah.